You are most definitely on a crack between this footstool and the sofa. Are you aware of that? You are going to fall down eventually. The other night, Ryan actually tried to take her jumper off of her, that jumper that she's wearing, and she basically put her head back through the hole. And that's how much she loves that. first vlog, my first proper vlog of 2021. I'm really glad that you kind of still say 2020 and then you add the one. That sounds really stupid, but you know like 2019 and when you changed to 2020, that was two very different, like I keep going 2020 and then I'm like one. But yeah, this is my first vlog back. I feel so nervous to the point of like, I actually felt sick this morning. Still feel a little bit sick. <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself. Like, why do I feel so nervous? Who knows? But yeah, I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and New Year. Mine was so great. I definitely could have done with some more time off, but I've really like eased back in to the year. Like I still have no routine and that is going to be a focus for next week is just like being back on like a really not strict routine, but definitely more my normal routine because right now it's kind of like there's no exercise in the morning. Things like we're just kind of working at a very slow pace and it makes me feel a little bit like lost sometimes so that's where we were at at the moment there's a few <laughs> home changes which i'm going to talk you through at the moment the old sofa is in the kitchen it kind of looks like it works from like this angle but if you've seen my home stories you will know that actually the gap between my sofa and the island is literally about this big i don't actually think i can fit through that gap I can maybe just about fit through the gap between the chairs and the sofa so this isn't a permanent addition to the kitchen though it has made me realize that I would quite like some kind of comfy seating here we obviously don't have like people around for dinner uh, anymore so the island is like eating space and then I think it would be nice to have somewhere to sit and have my coffee and kind of like look over the garden in the mornings so I've just made myself hot chocolate as well kind of as a procrastination for actually starting this vlog I was like hmm, what can I do and you guys missed the coffee montage this morning so you got a hot chocolate montage instead it literally just warm up oatly chocolate milk I get so many questions on how do you make a vegan hot chocolate and it's literally just I like, stick some milk in the microwave but yeah I also added a little bit of like peppermint syrup because I'm still just kind of keeping the Christmas vibes. But yeah, just worked at my desk this morning, had calls and stuff, and did a bit of admin, and yeah, now we are here. So I'm gonna go get ready, and I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, dressed, you can see my monumental pile of washing to put away. I've done so much washing over the past few days, I really need to like, now just put everything away. The dryer in the kitchen is like, full as well, so that is on my list of things to tackle today, but look at how long the hair is getting out. It kind of doesn't look like it when I'm uh, wearing a high neck and just in the mirror but like it actually like sits on my shoulders now like it won't be long before it's actually like falling behind my shoulders and staying there which is just crazy anyway this is my outfit my dressing gown is from MS, by the way if you didn't see my what i got for christmas i will link it this top is from and other stories this jump rude <laughs> why do i make myself laugh so much anyway yeah i really like it it's like a really lovely fine knit in this lovely kind of off white it's like a grazy white but it's really lovely it's kind of like a warm grazy white with this lovely big pocket on the front and it falls really nicely it's a bit more of a crop but obviously on me it just doesn't look particularly cropped but yeah it's really sweet i've just got a pair of top shop sydney jeans and then my asos slippers and that is it i'm gonna bun my hair today and just kind of like make this look look a bit more sleek i'm kind of not loving this vibe this is very like 20 2017 suzy and i'm not i'm not hip for that okay hair is done i've done a middle part which i haven't been doing a lot recently i've been doing sweeping kind of like side part into a bun or i've been putting my hair like fully back and i actually feel like i might be kind of over the middle part i'm not sure Maybe I'll tweak this. I'm going to put on some jewellery now and I actually have some new pieces. These I've been loving. Now I was going to wear these but I'm kind of leaning more towards these two because the golds kind of go quite nicely together. But I'm also really excited to wear these hoops. They are so pretty. I just love them. And then this necklace is literally the sweetest necklace I have ever seen. I unboxed this last night and I actually just put it on whilst I was sitting in bed and I was like, oh my god, I feel so cute. So that concludes today's very unintentional that will get ready with me. Now, it's time for some organizational stuff. I'm really excited about it, can you tell? So, it is most likely that I will probably spend this weekend at Ryan's house. So what I want to do is get 
everything in order here and make it like literally like show home perfect like really nice and clean and organized so that when i come back it's all nice and fresh and i can just like get straight into what i need to be doing and not be distracted so yeah that is what i kind of want to do today is just get everything really nice and organized fresh for 2021 because i feel like it's just been that christmas period where you're kind of just going with the flow and i just need to have like a really good clean tidy refresh my office because i really didn't i didn't do that before christmas and it's just kind of the same as it was before christmas and it's looking a little bit of a mess so for 2021 i need to like start my first week back next week in like a proper routine and start with a clean office and just like really refresh the space also lockdown issues but the space is just really looking very lived in I find it really hard to vlog <laughs> when there's just like so much stuff around so I just really need to have like a good tidy so we can go back into this year like I can vlog with you guys and just give you like my full attention not being like oh my god there's so much mess in the background but yeah on that note I'm going to tidy this sofa up quickly and talk you through this situation because if you don't follow my home stories you won't have seen this kind of setup. This is what is going on in the living room at the moment. I can't get far back enough really to kind of give you more of a view than this. But this is kind of how things are looking. If you missed it over Vlogmas, I now have shutters, which I'm loving. It's just really nice to be able to kind of like block everything out. And I just feel like I can vlog in here a little bit more. And you can see this end of the room, which you hadn't been able to before. Honestly didn't show it because my old sofa, <laughs> you are so distracted. She comes running in, she's like, please pet me. My old sofa was in here and it was a really awkward shape that didn't really fit the space because it had like a full L that came out, which is normally fine. Like if it's gonna be an L that's the kind that I'm going to have in here. However, it has a really high back to it. So it just kind of like really cut off the bay and the bay is not like an overly beautiful bay window or anything like that. Definitely no old like period house kind of work of art going on, but it just didn't really fit the shape very well so I wanted something that fitted the shape better I also wanted something more neutral which everyone has opinions on loads of people are like oh my god it'll be so dirty blah 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 and then I've got loads of people in my dms when I say like oh I know it's gonna get dirty and they're like no the cushions wash fine like I've got kids and I've got a white sofa it's fine so I guess it's just like individual differences whatever but I just really wanted to give a white sofa a go and this is one from Ikea that you can change the covers on so I can change these covers to a more neutral color like a more sandy color a bit like this so i can change it if i feel like the white is just like getting too grubby but yeah this is what we have so far we are still waiting on the cushion covers for the side and the footstool the footstool we've actually been using more to kind of make the l shape that we're going to have but on this side of the room we have this this is why i couldn't get much further back we still have the lounger which still needs its cushion covers and we just didn't want to put like the whole sofa together including the loungers if it didn't have cushion covers on it because then this weekend we'll have to take it all apart again so we just put the arms on that need covers so yeah is it the most luxurious looking sofa in the world no was it an absolute steal for the price yes do i like it is it comfy which is one of the biggest questions and the answer is yes i think it is comfy it's actually firmer though than my old sofa which is in the kitchen and i like that because the old sofa is so comfortable but your back ends up hurting after like 10 minutes of sitting on it because it's too soft whereas this is a lot firmer it's actually so comfortable to sit on for a really long time you can probably like sit up straight on it and i have like my legs out on the footstool and it just feels huge which I love and I'm hoping if anyone has any tips on putting a television on a wall please let me know I would love to have a mantelpiece put in here because this is only just like you can hear it's just been like boarded up so lots of people think that I have a fake fireplace and that I don't have a chimney I actually do have a chimney so that is definitely an option to have that kind of re put in but what I just want to kind of like make this space a little bit more minimal but to really focus on like the symmetry of the room because this is obviously like right in the middle we've got these two wall lights either side i'm gonna have frames coming soon i ordered them from habitat like two weeks ago honestly where are they <laughs> i have no idea but i hopefully will have two big 50 by 50 black frames with black and white photos either side so i really wanted to hone in on that symmetry and have a tv on the wall i know some people hate that especially above a fireplace but I really hate the dissymmetry of this room. So it depends on what you hate more. Also, I love the fact that this just has all of Nala's things in it and I can just kind of hide it away. It's goals. I think you're what she's been waiting for. She's been sat here just like staring that way. I thought she was really excited to pose for me. 
Jesus listening to no. what you're saying like, ah. Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't know that about this sofa. That makes sense. <laughs> I also wanted to show you whilst I'm out here, I picked up some, hang on, let me just get the noisy bit over and done with. I picked up some new champagne flutes, Prosecco glasses, whatever you want to call it. I picked these up from m and in their home section. I absolutely love them. I think they're so special. I think they're already linked to my blog and have been for a few weeks. So if you keep an eye out on the shop sections on my blog, I actually update it there quicker than I update anything else. But yeah, I'm going to give those a little clean up and then they'll go in the cupboard. I have got a lot of sorting to do in this room this afternoon. I'm really looking forward to it. My kitchen is my favourite space to like keep tidy and organised. Everything in it has a place, so it's just the most easy to keep organised. Putting washing away is my least favorite because you have to really make space for things in this house but yeah i'm gonna sort this bit out in a bit but right now i need to i think i'm gonna tackle the office i'm gonna start at the front of the house i'm gonna work my way backwards ease into it you know so it's not the worst but it is not looking like serene and relaxing like i would normally like it to especially like this desk needs help <laughs> it needs so much help these bits actually arrived this morning i am so excited to try these even though sadly two of my hair appointments in the last two months have had to be cancelled due to covid i'm still going to be able to use a couple of these even though i'm not at my absolute blondest which is really exciting but these are also going to be great for when i finally can get a hair appointment too so this is like an overnight treatment which i'm so excited to try this i used this morning and my hair was left feeling so soft and then i've got two new keristas masks to try as well so yeah i will let you know how i get on with those but really impressed with this this morning this made my hair feel so lovely and it's really great because even though it's marketed at extreme blondes you can still use it even if you're not blonde so i just love this packaging that is just the prettiest bottle i've ever seen some lunch quickly because i was suddenly so hungry so i've got some like cake chicken pasta homemade pesto and spinach nice and easy just been for my daily walk literally left it was daylight came back it was dark i've just come into the bathroom to start taking my makeup off before i leave for ryan's i always like to try and have my makeup off before i cook dinner i just it's part of my routine i have to have like makeup off even if it's not my full nighttime skincare routine i kind of like take it all off before i eat dinner and then i'll do like a little skincare routine again before bed but yeah the house is looking very tidy i thought i would quickly update you before i like just end up being in like nighttime mode because once I'm in nighttime mode, you lose me. I have the office, which, bar my giant Zara boxes, is looking very neat and tidy. Bathroom is just actually always tidy. I'm quite impressed with myself, really. The living room is what it is. Tidy up this end. Nala's blanket is back out. It was tidied away for like 2.5 seconds, and now she is back in her comfy spot. I like how this was my blanket that I bought, and I don't spend that much time with it. You do. And you're also cuddling the remote you little weirdo and then we have my bedroom this is my overnight stuff so i've got some clothes to change into like gym stuff if i want to go for a run tomorrow I've got my five minute journal literally the first two weeks of this year have just been about making sure that i have a solid like balanced day like work 
personal exercise you know like just the bare basics and adding this into my routine and as of next week i'm going to slowly start adding in a more structured routine into my life but now this is like a habit i feel like i can start building on top of that i'm in the middle of writing a blog post about the five minute journal so i will kind of link to that hopefully it'll be up by the time you see this i also have this book by leanne moriarty which she wrote big little lies as you can see by the cover it's called nine perfect strangers i am not that far into it at the moment this is a fresh book for me but i am really enjoying the fact that it's set in australia and it's like a really lovely spa retreat in australia and to be honest i'm mostly enjoying it because of that because i have quite a vivid imagination i feel like i am there when i read this book i really couldn't care less if the storyline is absolutely diabolical i'm enjoying mentally being in a spa retreat in australia <laughs> Everybody. so I'm currently coming to you from a red light because I can't drive and talk oh we're going okay right good morning everybody we are finally on a straight bit of road I'm not very good at driving and talking even just to like an actual passenger let alone all of you it is a very miserable morning and it's so early that I actually my brain has not switched on yet I have to go home from Ryan's to accept today's IKEA delivery which was meant to be coming at the weekend and it is now coming today so we are racing home to accept the delivery. So great because it's coming early, not great because it's kind of messed with my vibe today, but at least I will have the stuff early. And then Ryan and I can actually put the whole sofa together tomorrow evening when we're at mine rather than over the weekend. And I can fully have the weekend off and it will be lovely. Okay, I'm home. I also forgot to say that I am so aware that I had spot cream. I don't know if you can actually see it or you could in the car. I was so aware that I had spot cream on my forehead and yeah. I need to do my skincare routine. I actually literally just had to leave Ryan's without doing my skincare or anything because I was like, I need to be home for this delivery. So yeah, skin is looking good. It's actually, this isn't the best it's looked, but I'm, <laughs> I can't complain. I'm so happy. So I'm gonna do my skincare routine. I think I'm gonna like do some stretching out whilst I wait for the delivery. And then I'll do some yoga once it's like here. I definitely just need to like get into a really good routine. And I think like this year is gonna be, I don't wanna say good, cause I don't wanna over egg it, you know, you like touch wood. But yeah, I've got a good feeling. Next week is like full on, same routine every day. And I think I'm gonna be like thriving. very different because I realized I had to film a couple of reels today or attempt to film them I don't know if one of them came out okay it gets to the point where you've been trying it for so long and you're trying to envision what it's going to look like and then you're just like I don't know if I'm there but I'm going to have to stop because otherwise I'm going to spend three hours on something that's 15 seconds long and it's not ideal but I'm going to quickly take you through what has arrived from Ikea and hopefully I might be able to put the footstool covered together I need to put my mirror back yeah hopefully I'll be able to do that and I'm just so excited for Ryan to come over tomorrow night and help me do the rest of the sofa because I can't wait I'm also very nervous because I measured it but this is my measuring we're talking about So 
we have got the covers for the arms of the sofa, the covers for the chaise lounge, however you say it. And then these are the olive green cushion covers to go with the olive green throw. I just thought it'd be a lovely color to kind of have in here. It works quite well throughout seasons. I thought it would look really lovely with this cushion in particular. I just feel like the ready kind of brownie tones of it will work really nicely. The pink throw is actually just for like snuggles, not aesthetic, but Nala like loves lying on it. So it's kind of out a fair bit, um, but that normally will be folded away in there. And then we have the covers for the footstool. So I'm gonna attempt to do that now. And yeah, at least I can get something done today. Okay, needs a little steam. I'm gonna have to turn the light on. Please hold. Yeah, it needs a little steam, but it's looking good. I'm so happy it's only got a cover on it. The top was really annoying me. Yeah, so what do we think? Do I go for olive touches as well and maybe not have this blanket? Because I think that might be a bit too much going on. Let me turn the lights on fully so you can see. Yeah, let me know. What do you think? Do we go olive and these cushions or just these cushions and maybe something else i'm not sure i quite like the minimal tones of this i do think i would like a pillow behind in another color i have actually seen some more beigey cushions with a black trim which i think would go nicely with this blanket and tie the blanket in with the sofa it would be kind of a step between so maybe i'll try that it's looking cute though I'm really enjoying it. I just like how calm it is in here and how bright the space looks as well. The gray was really dragging it down. It also makes this pot just stand out so well because before it was like gray and then gray and it just didn't look great. <laughs> Lol. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this space at the moment. Not this space, <laughs> but I'm really enjoying this space. It looks so lovely. Hello everybody, welcome back. Today has been 
the weirdest day. I don't even know how to describe the mood I'm in right now, but it has been a very strange day. So I have just been like organizing housey bits. Once again, you didn't really miss much. I've just been trying to tidy my rail, which is looking pretty good. It doesn't look any emptier really than it did before, but it is actually like a lot more organized. We've even got a hanger loose, which I think this jumper is probably going to go on. This is a new one from And Other Stories. We've got some space down the bottom as well, which is great. So it's just looking a lot more organized because before it was like overloaded with stuff but yeah everything is nice and organized so i'm feeling good and as you will have seen we put the sofa together on sunday so i'm going to show you that now So it's looking a little bit neater. I have to say, I do think from where the certain parts of the sofa have been in boxes, you can really tell. It's like gravity has done some work and like pulled some of the insides to like one end more than the other. But over time, I think they're going to like flatten out just fine. I'm so happy with it. Honestly, it is so big. Like I fit into about this much for the sofa when i sit in the middle me and ryan sat up either end the other night and we were so far apart from each other i took a photo so i'll put it here because it kind of gives you more of an idea of the scale of it but yeah really enjoying this area as well i've simplified it so the bench is from zara home that book you can get on amazon i will try and link it in the info box this is from a garden center <laughs> it's just one of my best finds i love it and then this is also from zara home Great, I was a bit scared for a second and the mounts weren't in the parcel, but they were. The reason that I ordered my 50 by 50 black frames from Habitat and not Decenio, which is where I normally would order my frames and prints from is because they don't do a 50 by 50 mount. They sadly do them for every other size, but not 50 by 50, which is really annoying because that is my favorite frame size. I just think they look amazing. Yeah, I'm very excited to get those up. I feel like this vlog has kind of come to a half conclusion now, which is great. We could have originally had half a sofa and and no frames so this is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I'm very happy with how we're looking at the end of this vlog. <laughs> Welcome back. I actually didn't end the vlog last night. I didn't end the vlog last night because I had wine. And I was just like, nah, this isn't the way I want to end this vlog. I'm just getting ready to film a Zara haul. So that is what you will probably see next. I've also been giving some thought over the past couple of days to my dressing room, which is something that I really want to get sorted this year. And I would love your thoughts. I put this poll on Instagram and had a lot of various feedback. I would love your feedback because some of you on Instagram obviously watch my YouTube videos so you kind of have a decent idea of what the wardrobe room looks like. It's a very small room but I would love to know do I need a wardrobe room? I never have anyone to stay so I'm not super keen on it specifically being a guest bedroom. Should I do an IKEA PAX DIY job? Would you like to see that? What should I do? Should I put the wardrobes in my bedroom because the bedroom is huge yeah i'd love to know your thoughts because that is one of my big plans for the house for 2021 is just finally sorting that room out because it is just a little bit chaotic at the moment but i am going to carry on doing my makeup because it is literally like half done and i'm going to sort out my hair and my baby hairs and i'm probably going to leave you here because my pensions call is going to be incredibly dull and i need to get cracking with a new video so i hope you guys have enjoyed my first vlog of 2021 and i will see you all again very very soon love you bye